So guys, I just got my new iPhone 17 Pro and was double checking all the steps to do the migration from the, my existing 14 Pro Max. One thing that ChatGPT showed me that I had never noticed before was to use a Lightning to USB-C connector between the two phones to do the transfer. It was noted as being the fastest approach over even connecting to the Mac because you don't have to do all the interim backups and such. Obviously, you would still want to do backups, but it doesn't really rely on those for the transfer, and it worked great. It took about two hours in total, so, and, and I'm like, oh, that's brilliant, and my new iPhone should be here at home when I get home, and I will be doing it, and, and for, mine's a C to C transfer, but. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a great Great tip. Much faster, I would think. Uh, it, it, I'm, I'm, a, I'm lost on this. I have a... I, Hi, my name's Dave, and I have a question. How do you tell it to 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 do that? Like, what what is the process? Because I, I ask because I got yeah. my new iPhone yeah. 17 Pro in orange, and uh, it when I I did the iPhone to iPhone transfer, and once it started, I plugged the cable into two of them, and the time did not really seem to oh. change at all. It did nothing. It, there was no acknowledgement. And I recall doing this with a previous phone and failing, but it was like the first time Apple let you do it and everybody failed it. Like most yeah. everybody failed. Yeah. So I, I know it's possible. I know that I've done it before, but I thought it was just, I thought it was like doing migration assistant between two Macs where it starts wirelessly. And then if you plug them into each other, here's a bonus quick tip, it will just shift over to Thunderbolt or USB. And it will show you that on, on the screen, like of the, of one or maybe even both of the Macs. So you know that this has happened. There was no indication, uh, explicit or even sort of implicitly that, that, that this was working. And I did, use a thunderbolt cable so i wasn't using i i went i first started to use the cable that came with my iphone i was like wait 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 this is a charging only cable this is usb2 i should use something that's that could go faster although i don't think my old phone could have gone faster than usb2 now that i think about it because the iphone 17 doesn't have faster usb but in any event i'm just curious adam do you did did i did i vamp long enough to to have you look yes, up the answer <laughs> the support <laughs> article yeah Thank uh, you. i mean according to apple in their support article which will add the link to the show notes yeah uh it appears that their recommended steps are to connect the cable to both devices first then turn on both devices and follow on screen instructions okay so it's so got to be like there powered when off you start. Have them both powered off I don't know if even know if that's required. I wouldn't think it's required, but the explicit instructions for all versions, whether you're going from an iPhone 15 or later, or a 14 to a 15, or a 14 and earlier to a 14, whatever. Sure. Every sure. single one of them says, connect the cable to the charging ports of your previous phone and your new phone, then turn on both devices and follow the on-screen instructions. Okay. Okay. 